Ukraine's defense ministry said Monday its forces had pushed Russian troops in the northeastern Kharkiv region in a, in a, co- a counteroffensive that allowed the Ukrainians to reach the Russian border. The Ukrainian Defense Ministry posted a video to social media Monday showing what it said were its troops at the border, with one soldier telling Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, we are here. There is no immediate independent confirmation of the development. Ukrainian forces have regained territory in the region and sought to push Russian forces from their staging area in the city of Izhum as Russian forces focus on the eastern Donbass region. Zelensky, in his daily video address late Sunday, said Ukraine was preparing for new Russian attacks in the Donbass and southern Ukraine. He said the occupiers still do not want to admit they are in a dead end and their so-called special operation has already gone bankrupt. Meanwhile, McDonald's Corporation says it has started the process of selling its Russian businesses, which includes 850 restaurants that employ 62,000 people. Associated Press correspondent Charles Desma has details. The fast food giant points to the humanitarian crisis caused by the war in Ukraine, saying holding on to its business in Russia is no longer tenable, nor is it consistent with its values. The Chicago-based company had temporarily closed its stores in Russia, but was still paying employees. Now it says it would seek to have a Russian buyer hire its employees and pay them until the sale closes. But there's been no announcement yet on any prospective buyer. The company says it plans to start removing golden arches and other symbols and signs with its name. I'm Charles de Sweden's Prime Minister Monday formally formally announced that Sweden will join Finland in seeking NATO membership in the wake of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. In a statement, Prime Minister Magdalena Andersson said the country will officially inform the regional military alliance they want to become a member. The historic shift comes after more than 200 years of military non-alignment in the Nordic country. The announcement came after a debate in Sweden's parliament, or Riksdagen, earlier Monday, which showed huge support for joining NATO. Only two of Sweden's eight political parties opposed the move. Sunday, the Swedish Social Democrats broke with the party's long-standing position that Sweden must remain non-aligned, paving the way for a clear majority support for NATO membership in the parliament. The move came in Sweden after neighboring Finland announced Sunday it too would seek to join the 30-country alliance. Russia has warned both countries against taking the step. Russian news agencies quoted Deputy Foreign Minister Sergei Rybakov as saying NATO will, uh, joining NATO will cause military tensions to increase and that the security of Finland and Sweden will not improve. U.S. President Joe Biden will visit Buffalo, New York Tuesday to help that community grieve after, Saturday, after Saturday's mass shooting. AP correspondent Sagar Magani reports. The president says the nation must unite after yet another mass killing. We must all work together to address the hate that remains a stain on the soul of America. At a memorial honoring fallen law enforcement officers yesterday, the president did not mention gun control efforts that have stalled here in Washington. But Buffalo Mayor Byron Brown did on NBC, saying mass shootings are a uniquely American phenomenon that must be addressed. On CNN, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi said Democrats and the White House want tighter gun control measures, but Senate Republicans are in the way. Sagar Magani, Washington. Pakistan has ordered enhanced personal security for former Prime Minister Imran Khan a day after he repeated his claim at a massive rally that there was a plot to assassinate him. Prime Minister Shabazz Sharif's office said Monday federal and provincial authorities have been instructed to provide foolproof security to his predecessor during public appearances at public rallies and gatherings. Khan's Pakistan Tariq Insaf, or PTI party, has organized massive anti-government rallies across the country since early last month when the cricketer-turned-politician was ousted in an opposition-led parliamentary no-confidence vote and replaced him with Sharif. The deposed prime minister has been demanding new elections across, uh, accusing the United States of conspiring with political opponents to bring down his nearly four-year-old government. Repeating this hour's top news story, Ukraine's defense ministry said Monday its forces had pushed back government troops, or Russian troops, in northeastern Kharkiv region.
Hi, thank you for watching. I hope the videos are useful for you. Please subscribe to my channel using the button below.